And there came two angels to Sodom at evening, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will remain in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him and entered into his house, and he made them a feast and baked unleavened bread, and they ate. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, both young and old, all the people from every quarter, compassed the house around. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men who came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them, and shut the door after him. And said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold now, I have two daughters who have not known a man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do yet to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing, for therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came in to sojourn, and he will become a judge. Now will we deal worse with thee than with them. And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hands, and pulled Lot into the house to them, and shut the door. And they smote the men who were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides? Sin-in-law, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whomsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them has waxed great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord hath sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spoke unto his sons-in-law, who married his daughters, and said, Up, get ye out of this place, for the Lord will destroy the city. But he seemed as one who mocked unto his sons-in-law. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters who are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him outside the city. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth outside, that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, Oh, not so, my lord. Behold now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast shown unto me in saving my life, and I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. Behold now, this city is near enough to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither, is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow the city for which thou hast spoken. Hasten thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou hast come thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zor. The sun had risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zor. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire, from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities, and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities, and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah, and toward all the land of the plain, and beheld. And lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. And it came to pass, when God destroyed the cities of the plain, that God remembered Abraham, and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in which Lot dwelt. And Lot went up out of Zor and dwelt on the mountain, and his two daughters with him, for he feared to dwell in Zor, and he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. And the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man on the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night, and the firstborn went in and lay with her father, and he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesternight with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also, and go thou in and lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. 
and they made their father drink wine that night also. And the younger arose and lay with him, and he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. Thus were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. And the firstborn bore a son and called his name Moab, the same is the father of the Moabites unto this day. And the younger, she also bore a son and called his name Benami, the same is the father of the children of Ammon unto this day.